Everyone, Darren Hunter here. This is the Unbusy Podcast Show with Michael Sands from Teams by Design. And Michael, we're talking about the dark side today. We're going to talk about the burnout factor that if as entrepreneurs, our job is to be the rainmaker, our job is to fly, our job is to bring the purpose to the business, our job is to make sure that we are bringing in the fee revenue and the money into the business and all of those tasks that we need to do to achieve that with uh, relationships, building relationships with key uh, stakeholders out there with sales and marketing and obviously leadership and team, uh, working with the team as well and all those things that we should be focusing on and not allowing us to get caught up in the weeds, in our email management, in our appointment management and all those things that someone else should be doing on your behalf so you can you can fly unhindered but michael we want to go next level if we just keep on just keep on allowing that to happen that wear and tear factor it turns out into a burnout factor now michael you just said you got a you got a phone call yesterday you you had an appointment yesterday with something that was very similar what what happened oh wow yeah so i had a phone call with someone yesterday um they gave their all into into the business but they were getting burnt out because it was a relentless phone calls, the emails, the admin tasks, and they were promised the task of growth BDM in their business. And they couldn't do anything that they wanted to do in the, in the role that they loved to grow and build relationships and strategic alliances because they were stuck. So much so, they were so burnt out, they had to take five weeks off. Wow. Just to see if this is actually what they want to be doing now. Yeah. And you know, you know what made that worse? is that when they're away, the office did all the communication from their email and they didn't tell the clients that they're away on, on leave for five weeks and they came back to hundreds and hundreds of unreplied emails and angry responses from landlords. And this is someone who wants to grow the business and put their face out the front and have the, the relationships there. There was no support from the team. And you know what? Like Even after five weeks off, they are back to being burnt out again and they were crying saying, I need support, Michael. I need like a VA to help me so I can focus on those tasks so I can grow the business. I, I remember a story of one of the people that came to our IGT Leaders Retreat talking about how several months ago they they felt like giving up. Um, yeah. They had to take time out of the business. They had to get counselling. And again, the whole point, everybody, is that this, if, if you're, this wear and tear um, and all this busy, busy that you get caught up in, it turns into something bad. Um, it can really go to some bad places. You know, it will take it takes away your incentive to want to do uh, or to do your role anymore. You, you question why? Why did I start my own real estate business in the first place? You're thinking I should. I'd rather just be getting a job. And sometimes you look at people, even at places like Subway, um, and you think, if only if I was just making sandwiches, I'd prefer that than the crap that I'm dealing with at the moment and the the grind that I've got myself into. You know, it's a different things for different people. But when that disillusionment sets in and your heart goes dark, you know, your purpose is taken away from you. Um, it can go to some really, really bad places, Michael. You know, it can go to depression. It can go to all sorts of really, really bad places. And this is why, everyone, you've got to take control of this erosion factor if that's if, if you have felt that. Definitely. You almost develop a resentment towards the role and, and then you start hating the role. And something that you had passion with has just now left. We met with another client yesterday, Darren, too, where smaller operations, smaller business, and they've only got, you know, less than 50 managements, but they're doing absolutely everything. And so they went into this business, like business owners, they thought, I'll be doing relationships. I'm going to be growing this portfolio. But they said, Michael, like, I can't go out and grow this business because already I'm dealing with tenants. I'm dealing with maintenance contractors. I'm dealing with owners that are calling me all the time, asking me silly little questions. And I just, I'm getting burnt out. This is like another, you know, this couple that I spoke to yesterday, they were stuck. They had these handcuffs on them. They built this beautiful sales business and they're stuck. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I've seen plenty of time with businesses where people have really put their heart, their mind, their soul into it, but now they won't get out of bed in the morning. Um, they, they're suffering with depression. 
Um, the staff don't know where they are, um, you know, and, and just these awful mental health issues um, and divorce, um, broken yeah. relationships or, you know, missing out on that really important children's events and school events and all those things that you should be out there and the, all the reason that you promised yourself, this is why I'm starting a business in the first place to give me freedom, but it's actually become a ball and chain. Um, and it's really shackled you uh, to all the things that you wanted to do. And now you're a slave to all of this grind work. Um, and it can go to some real mindless places. And for me, I'm just so thankful that I've got Bev, our executive assistant, that carries a lot of this wear and tear work for me. So I can just focus on the things that I should be doing and the most important things that only I can do in the business. A lot of people, Darren, don't see a way out. Though, like they, they get burnt and, and just grind down. They can't see a way out. They, they, they just don't know what their options are. Yeah. And the whole thing is, is that, yeah, you need someone to be helping you. And that's why we want to, well, we, while we're talking about executive assistance, oh, but Darren, that costs too much. No, we're not talking about you bringing someone in, creating a desk and all the desk expenses that goes with it, having another employee, an expensive employee in the office, because executive assistants are like managers um, and, uh, and, and they can be very, very expensive. You know, we're talking about giving you the total freedom and the benefits of what an executive assistant can do, but not basing them in the office, having them based remotely um, and at a third of the cost. Um, you've got to think, you know, that third of a cost, what's it going to buy you? You need your sanity back. Do you need your freedom back? Do you need your wings back? Do you need to be able to fly, you know, full um, as the rainmaker for the business? And, and that's it. So I think like, you know, when we got executive assistance ourselves, having the ability to have more family time, knowing that when I'm going to like the kids' concerts and, you know, I've been able to do, the, be the parent on their excursions, Darren, because I know that, any of that urgent email or phone calls, anything coming through, it's being attended to, like from a personal family level. And we know, you know, my family life is hectic as it is. And if I didn't have that EA support, I don't, I don't, know, I don't know where I'd be. I mean, you'd probably kick, kick me off the team. But again, pe people, you need to know out there that there are support options and that, you know, for us, an executive assistant. An executive assistant for us is someone who can pick us up when we're falling, dust us off, help us out, keep pushing us, help keeping us accountable. Um, when I've gone to recruit EAs, I've always said to them, I need you to be my boss. I need you to tell me where I have to be, what I have to be doing, who I need to be talking with, that the sales appraisals are going out, that everything is being done. Don't wait on me to tell you what my day is. You're in control. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, we own the business. But Bev is your boss. Bev is there to tell you what you should be doing, to follow you up, to chase you down, to hunt you, hunt you out. You know, she sends me messages, Darren, don't forget you got this appointment coming up or just reminding you, Darren, before I log off, um, you have an appointment at eight, eight o'clock tomorrow morning and all of those sort of things just to keep me um, on track. Um, you know, just the, just the way she keeps things organized, like she sorts all my email inbox for me. There's a, copious amount of things that come into that she sorts all of that out she brings to my attention what uh, i need to know she asks me questions darren how do i answer this yeah okay just do that she will then send that email off all of these things here she carries that weed work so i don't have to do it and i can focus on what i'm really good at but just everybody you know what what is it going to cost you if you're not having that assistance that you need to be able to do the things that you want to do and not get caught up in that everyday mundane grind, all those things that are just wearing you down, you know, what, 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 it, what is it going to cost you before you do something? You know, how long does it take before you hit the wall or that disillusionment sits in or you wake up on that Monday morning and go, damn it, I'm done. And then you do a, you sell out really, really quickly and you walk away disillusioned, you know. What's it going to take before you go, hang on, there's a better solution here. I need assistance. I need someone to carry all this stuff for me so I can fly. Um, you know, how long before you go, well, you know, it's worth the investment. And you know, it's interesting too there, Darren, that we have some clients where they've got an EA and they might split their day up so that they're 
starting in the morning, having some more time off in the middle of the day, and then in the afternoon, kind of crossing over into loose after hours. So, you know, between that 5 and 7 p.m. And their role is to make sure that any emails that come through or calls that come through, which could be new business, that they're being answered and responded to. Because when you think about it, if you can bring in one new um, landlord a month, one new landlord a month from structuring your EA to make sure that you're not missing a beat, that pays for itself. One new landlord a month from having an EA help run your life covers basically your business. Yeah. So we're talking about sanity here. We're talking about the difference between you flying as an entrepreneur and achieving all those things that you started a business for in the first place. The actual reason why you didn't want to work for your, work for someone else anymore, you want to work for yourself. And the difference, of course, of you burning out with something that you're shackled to, you've simply become a slave to, um, and it's driving you, you not driving it, you're serving it, it's not serving you. So if you're feeling that pain and you're thinking, is this really a way out? Um, just have a chat, book in with Michael. Uh, uh, Michael, um, uh, just I think it's just really easy. They just unbusychat.com just go to unbusychat.com that books you directly into michael's diary how else can people get in touch with you michael just go to teamsbydesign.com contact us and uh, you'll be able to book in the time but yeah i'm busy is the best way now we were doing an event in manila a couple of weeks ago we did a one-day event i was there it's really exciting um, Michael, what sort of potential do we have in the room as executive assistants on that day with people that came along interested in that type of work? Actually, pretty good. We've um, brought on five people from that event at the moment that are going through training. Um, and, you know, last night someone emailed me that came to the event. They were, it was someone that we wanted to apply and they've been sick the last couple of weeks. Um, they're, they're applying for a role too. So there are some good quality candidates that, that we got from that event. Yeah, yeah, that was good. Really good event. So again, go to unbusychat.com uh, or simply go to teamsbydesign.com, contact us there uh, and just get in touch with Michael, book into his diary. Again, if you're feeling that burnout, you're feeling that disillusionment, um, you can do something about it, all righty? And an executive assistant may well be the solution that you need to take that burden off your shoulders so you can uh, enjoy your role so much better as the boss. So um, Michael, I think that was a good podcast, that one. Thanks, Darren. It's great. All right, everybody. We'll see you in the next podcast episode. Thank you. Bye.